Hello there. In this video, I want to go over my 10 the favorite, the best top AR generated services. They won't go in the necessary order the one I like the best, one other ones. As we're going, I will let you know which one I like for what reason, because they're all tools, okay? They're all just a tools on your belt that is allowed you to do one way, something better than another tools, but it's better if you know all of them so you can use it. So then we'll start with a, a mid journey. Mid journey is one of the uh, top sites, I think for creating the content right now, AI generate art, and you can see it's constantly upgrading, constantly updating, creating stunning result. And uh, you can use it for your commercial works, background, or any other art, or just print out. And you can see it's a creating very, very great job. The one, some people find the problem with the mid journey. It is utilization of the Discord. And I see how problem for some people when they don't know how to use it or have some problems. By the way, I have a video right there showing you if you don't know anything about this, how you can very easily start from ground zero with no knowledge with a discord or mid journey how you can create it so it's not that hard and tell you true i personally actually like this better than just a web or app actually i prefer this better way because i can open multiple tabs with a this um, discord i can use the mobile at the same time the desktop I prefer better this way to create it. And beside, if you're going to your mid journey, if you need access to your content, you just go to your home and you have access to all of these images can download it very easy or work from the web. So this is benefit for me. This is my number one site to go to create a content. So the next number two, it is Art Breather. Art Breather, one of the oldest sites, and they still have it a little bit dated interface but with a new beta update it's look a little bit better what i like about art breather it's allowed you to create all these different options for example um, you can create portraits you can create landscape buildings and so and you can mix together progress you can upload it and you can use it even animations inside this. specifically you can use it for the portraits animations or you can use it for uh, landscape animations so it's actually very good and animations it is uh, ai morphing so it's not just a blending from one image to another so i still like this one website a lot to creating developing characters and everything so the next side it is based on the stable diffusion dream studio light this is have a two big bonuses okay the one you have a website which is developed on a free code and by the way if you're interested I have a video how you can install this one even on your personal computer so you can run at home without paying anybody access so it's open source software but this is also a service that guys who created provide on a web and it does you need to purchase some credits to use this however it will help to pay for the service for the um, engineering and some other stuff the other big plus with this with stable diffusion why i like this you don't need necessarily use it this web so it recently was add new plugin and again i'll put a link for the video how you can install and use it in your photoshop so you can use it right here you have a stable diffusion uh, plugin inside the photoshop you can edit in paint out paint you can do uh, increasing and render images inside the Photoshop directly without going to any website. But you will need to have it credits because it will use the API directly from this side to connect it. So it's a reason why I have say I'm maybe not using as much this web interface here, but I used all the time inside the Photoshop for my login. Okay, the next one, it's a DALI. And a DALI 2, it's a new one approved. It is uh, one of the made a most noise we can say in an art community because when I start Dali, everyone oh look what Dali can do, all the stuff, and Dali too is a newer update, which is you can create a lot of interesting stunning tools. In some cases, I will say it was almost fall behind the stable diffusion, uh, mid journey and all the stuff, disk diffusion. However. With introduction of the in painting and out painting, that is actually, 
open all new possibilities so you do not restrict anymore to small size what was before problem with the DALI actually before it was 512 by 512 you can see the increase to 1024 by 1024 you can upload your image this size and you increase the canvas you can replace details inside outside and I have a video upcoming how you can do this I have a video just overview I put a link there but you can see inside there how it's very powerful so you can actually work on your images inside the DALI so the next one it is a night cafe and the reason is why I like night cafe it is provide a lot of possibilities so when you're going to create you can create with a stable diffusion open DALI type you can see they add all this new stuff around it so you can create all these different options select in which you want it it's like center place for you to create your art with and beside that from all of this other side dali does give you 50 credits i think every month if you don't have more for example if i purchase some credits i don't get it additional 50 credits every month if i drop below they refill up to 50 credits so it's kind of um does not always till you deplete it but with night cafe about every eight hours you can uh, get a special promotion and get five credits all the time plus you can create addition like new algorithm dali 2 create 10 credits you can say i already have 311 credits which is i did not pay at all it's daily updating upgrading and i put it more credits inside um, for free so i can create a lot of stuff and it does produce a very good job it's have a lot of algorithms and everything and again i put a video how to use it night cafe in the description or on top so you can guys go and check if you're interested in this specific service okay the next one it is a little bit more for the geeky kind of but it is allowed you to run almost anything so it is google collab it is online like a cloud server place where you can run different notebooks or execute different codes to create run anything from disco diffusion stable diffusion dream studio and so on so you can have it so many different things you can run with a collab the biggest biggest withdraw it does require some of the geekiness or knowledge of the programming to create because if notebook runs smooth and runs smooth but about 80% of the time when I tried something going wrong and when something going wrong you want to go inside the code and change but this is biggest offset biggest plus of course and I have a link for this list uh, when created you can see how many notebooks you can do almost anything right here anything from creating music art portraits i signed fixing face I mean it's list is huge and you can see right here it's very big list to which again i'll post link for you we can just go ahead open and collab this specific notebook run it and remember for this for the run and collab you don't need powerful machine or anything because all code everything executed on the servers of the google and you can run this for free which is best part of course they have a pay tier if you want faster computer better performance you can pay and access a little bit better but you don't need to you can run for free with all the code and because say it's work excellent i use it for the creating animations i use it to create um dream booth and other effect you know all this stuff even for the music i did it so you can see this is great great option for this to create okay the next one it is wombo and a wombo is um kind of original i think was an app on a phone when people created they was asking to can we access on the web and they're creating access here on the web so you can do um create your artwork they also integrated the new the dream booth utilization new model which is based on the reference of the portraits it's a pre-trained so you can actually take different portraits insert and you can 
create model based on this. However, one board, the one biggest minus for me, it's a restrictions. For example, you have it only one format. You can have it like long format render, so aspect ratio. And on a dream booth, on a portrait, they're pre-trained to public figures. So you cannot upload it to your own images or do other stuff. So they already have them in the pre-train and you just can create this way. But it is a very nice uh, creative tool. Personally, I treat more as a toy than or maybe idea generation as a generator in some cases. But again, still be very interesting way to experiment with this. OK, another one's it is for a Sonic and uh, it's based on from Right Sonic. The reason I put it this and I use it because I'm utilizing Right Sonic all the time. I use it for the help me to create descriptions, content, some stories, and I have some funny stories coming up with this one. But for uh, Photosonic from them, it's the same. They're utilizing stable diffusion, kind of. You can create with AR. You're using same credits as you're using to create it in Brand Sonic. Same things where you can do this. Um, and honestly, I found a lot of services right now on a website. If you search, which has allowed you to a uh, generated image, all what they do, they have a nice GPU. Uh, farm they probably even rent maybe from Azure or from some other services they install stable diffusion there charging people make interface and a lot of lot of like these services available this is only standard for me because it's integrated with the right sonic so whatever i'm making like creating blog or everything i can actually go and create image insert directly to my right sonic convenience this is probably best what i do okay next Jasper. Jasper AI, I did use it for a little bit. The reason is I put it here that some people find useful because it's provide multiple different services. So it's not just one, it's a similar, you can write copy, you can create the image, put it there in other places. So very similar to write Sonic. I use it for a little bit and in some cases writing kind of more interesting created by write Sonic. So they something plus and minus on both of them but it's another very similar and the same reason because when i create something in jasper i can easily go and create image and put it in so another ones and our last 10 ones it is one of the oldest dream deep dream generator and if you ever play with this i remember when first time i start creating it's kind of very cool very interesting tool that allowed you to create images earlier ones they're more like dream <laughs> i mean the way of one of the um earlier text to the image was or image to image creation and uh, here's more kind of like you know nostalgia almost for me was this way i think the other services is better here but again you can go try play around with this and few honorable mentions honorable mentions because i think they're good services but they're not my top i use them but i use this sometimes the one of them is runaway and this is a great tool which you can generate and use it as collaboration also for the images and animations just apply it so it's a very interesting nice tool and of course the fedor from go art um go art sorry from fedor there you can create images uploaded very similar but it's work mostly with a styling so if you like specific styles you can upload image and apply style to this it does very good job uh perform quite a bit well and fast but again it is not necessary ai generator it's more style kind of applying so let's go ahead very fast over what we have here we have it our mid journey we have it our art breeder we have it a stable diffusion dream studio from this. We have a Dali 2. We have it a night cafe. Google Colab with all success. Dream from Wambo. Okay, we have it our Photosonic from Bright Sonic. Jasper AI. And we have it our Dream Deep Dream Generator. Well, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you'll find some of those resources using exactly the same or maybe find something new for you so you discover something that you would like to utilize. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's really helped me a lot. Spread around, let other people see this. Again, it is promote to create more videos as well and uh, hopefully you have a fun time to creating.